up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys. As always, let me fix this lighting. What am I thinking? <laughs> is that better? Yeah, okay, that's a little bit better. Um, what's up? So today I have a really quick video for you guys. Um, still doing the new base design. And some of you guys, as you, as you may see, I switched up some things. Um, I do need to fix all my... Uh, traps because I got attacked but um, I switched some things up to the maze bays that you guys saw the other day um, I moved these air defenses right here into the middle and I pulled out my king and queen to the outside um, and I also uh, what else did I do I think I brought these gold storages in maybe one of them I might have changed something else I don't know but the big thing that I changed was these air defenses um, and so the reason that I did that was because somebody made a point about um, me being wrecked by uh, balloons and minions, okay? Um, so whoever said that, whatever. I kind of thought about it before, but didn't really think it'd be a big thing. So I switched that up. Oh, yeah, and I also brought my expos out to the edges right here. Um, I'm going to reload these things. So I brought my expos out to the edges and put these... Uh, gold storage is in there is what it was because I wanted to protect that a little bit more so what I'm going to do today is show y'all a defense replay um, a couple of them from what has been happening so um, this one right here at the very bottom is the last one from my old base um, so two star on that last one all of these have been people just going after my town hall for the most part this person used some lightning spells and got some gold freaking jerk <laughs> Um, but let's go up to the top to this most recent one. You can see 24 max level balloons and 45, I believe that's max minions as well, and barbarians and two rage spells. And look how bad his loot count is. It's miserable. So let's go replay this and I'm going to show you guys how good of a base this is. Because if you lay it out like this um, and you get attacked by balloons and minions like all of these are max level so watching this you can't deny it you can't deny that the base works when you see this so um, he's taking out the town hall at the top there go some of the balloons um, he's dropping his balloons all, all along the outside and his minions as you can see he goes after the cannons and the archer towers first and then the uh, expos and my wizards do work my wizards are doing so much work to the balloons so are the air defenses in the middle. You can see his balloons don't even get close to the center of the base. Um, and now his minions are just flying around getting taken out by the other air defenses, by the wizards, um, and by my traps and whatnot. So um, this base design worked flawlessly when it comes to protecting... Look at that. All of my storages, every single one of my storages is still intact from getting attacked by max level balloons and minions. And I don't even have max level uh, troops for town, uh, defenses for Town Hall 9. He could have gotten 360,000 gold and he only got 39,000. Um, so that shows you that this base is working really, really well for me. Um, thank you because it saved me a whole lot of gold. If he'd stolen 300, I would have been pissed. Um, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and use that gold to um, finish up my last cannon. So as you can see, all of my other cannons are maxed out. They're all level 11. So I'm going to finish those out because they're cheaper. I really want to start on wizard towers, but I don't want to save 5 million gold for that. So I'm going to finish up my cannons. Um, and then as once I finish up this... Well, wait. Do I want to do the cannon or do I want to do the bombs? How much are these bombs? 750. So I can do... I could do all four of them and they're only a day. Um, and it does 25 more damage. So, you know, why don't we do that? It's just going to suck having to fix them all at the same time. So let's upgrade all of these, actually, because this is going to make a big difference. So if I do get attacked from hogs in the next day, uh, then, <laughs> yeah. If I get attacked from the top, then they're all going to uh, get right on through those bombs with no problem whatsoever. But we'll just leave those there. I don't really care about moving them out or anything. Um, so we'll put those there. We still have 800,000 gold. I'm just going to keep that because next I want to do my cannon. And then once I get that cannon, then I'm going to do all my wizard towers because my mortars are all maxed out, as you all already know. 
Um, but we're going to go on the attack right now. The kind of army comp that I'm running with is a farmer. It's pretty much this right here. Bunch of goblins, bunch of barbarians, and a bunch of archers. Um, and I'm just running around looking for bases that are not that active. Let's go ahead and break our shield because I'm pretty sure that the next attack is just going to be one that um, goes after my town hall. So it's going to be uh, pretty easy for them to just get their stars and then leave. So uh, let's see. This base has most of their stuff on the inside. I did forget wall breakers this time. Um, I don't know how. They just didn't load up. But I should be able to get this gold, this entire gold storage up here at the top. So um, I don't have to worry about troops or anything like that. I'm just going to go ahead and start dropping down some barbarians. And then drop down some archers as well. Um, to start taking all this out. And then we should be able to get right up in there to that gold storage. Um, we'll drop down a couple of goblins as well so they can get in there. Then as our archers come in, they're definitely going to be able to get that gold storage for us um, and take out a bunch of that. We also might, depending on how many troops we have, be able to get all down here um, and able to get those, what am I saying, able to get this gold storage as well. I might put down a rage spell um, and send in some more goblins and then let's send in our archers on that gold storage right there and they should start working on that. Come on. There they go. Alright, so they're getting a pretty good amount of that, even though that wizard's taking them out. Let's see what else we can get. We do have some goblins down here. Let's go ahead and see what's in his. So, yeah, his collectors don't have that much. It's mainly just his storages that had, that had everything. So, um, we are going to call it right there. Let's go ahead and surrender. And you can see there's 102,000 gold. Uh, 23,000 elixir. And with cheap troops like this, depending on the base that you find and whatnot, if I had had wall breakers, it definitely would have helped out a lot. Um, but depending on the troops that you have, what am I saying? Not that. Depending on the base that you find, um, you can get a lot more than that. You just got to search. As you saw, I didn't even have to search for that long. Um, but a lot of people who are protecting their trophies generally leave their uh, storages closer to the edge because they're trying to protect their town hall, not their storage. Um, so you can you can get a lot of loot for pretty much free around the outside, um, and it works pretty well. But um, for the most part, guys, that is it. I hope that you guys are happy that I am farming because I most certainly am. Um, hopefully I can get um, a lot of elixir. I'm definitely going to be trying to upgrade my barbarians next, most likely, um, for, four, for four million. I think that's what it is for... I'm all over the place right now. 4,500,000. Um, and we will be good to go. But again, guys, try out the base. Uh, it's worked well for me, obviously, so far, as you've seen. Um, now we just have to see what it looks like against a bunch of hogs, and I'll show a replay for that. But that is going to be it for this quick episode, this quick review of the Bay's Maze. Of the Maze Bays? The Maze Bays. Uh, <laughs> uh, if any of you guys have tried it out, leave a comment below. Um, as you saw in the video, the proof is in the pudding. It's working pretty well for me. Um, you guys can make these little tweaks with the expos and the air defenses, and I think you'll be happy with that. But that is going to be it. Thank you for watching, as always, guys. I really do appreciate it. And hey, say it with me. Keep calm and clash on, all right? I'll see you guys later.